Thanks for staying with us. The family and friends of Earl Rodney have shared that music was the love of his life. TTT News visited the family home on Tuesday, where they shared some of their fondest memories of the pan legend who passed on Sunday. Earl Rodney had so much love for the national instrument that even his home was known as the House of Pan. His wife, Anne Rodney, expressed that music was his second language. All I know about him is music. That is all. That's his first love, right? And that's all he did during our lifetime, was to play music. When asked how her husband should be honored, she said, But I know he would not want a monument. He will not. If they decide to do something with, with youths concerning Pan, but as far as maybe building something or putting his name on something, that is not something that he would have wanted. His granddaughter, Anna Mae Maguire, said from an early age she and her cousins were introduced to music. He was a very special musician and uh, gave the young members of the family, myself and my siblings, my cousins, the opportunity firsthand to interact with the mighty Sparrow, the Lord Kitchener and a memory I would never forget is interacting with Marsha Montano in this said yard. My grandfather was a very serious man. I remember we would have various family events. And if you say two o'clock, you better be ready at two o'clock. One of his friends, Hilary Abraham, said Earl Rodney was a talented individual. Earl had to be considered as one of the better panels that ever passed through the circuit. He shared a song he penned for his beloved friend. If I only have my way, but earlier so far away, we'll miss you every day. I know we'll meet again one day. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.